everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome to our channel, Raising a Disney Princess. For those of you who are new, welcome to the party. For those of you who have come back to us, thank you. God bless you. We'd be lost without you. Today we are doing a pin tag. Um, and let's see, it was created by Whimsical Mischief 21. Uh, and I was tagged by Sandra from Creatively Sandra. And this tag is called the Wonders of Disney Pin Tag. <clears throat> now, you think it should be easy because it's basically listing all your favorites. But for most of us Disney fans, listing your favorites is hard. Yeah. Okay. But I think I did okay. I think I have some good choices. I think so. I'm just going to get right into it because I only have a few minutes because Adrian's out there with dad. And I am just taking a break between chores and doing dinner real fast. So while the oven is preheating, I'm in here making my video. Okay, let's see. Um, number one, your favorite Disney movie. <laughs> yeah, like right off the bat. Horn. Um, I don't really have one. But I do have some that have some sentimental value. Uh, sentimental attachment, I should say. And... Um, so I'm going to pick one of those as my favorite and I'm going to choose Lady and the Tramp. Uh, I think I've been tagged something like this before and I think I've said this before and maybe even show the same pin, but it is what it is. It's true. So, uh, yeah, I chose Lady and the Tramp and this is a, um, let me put this down. This is a, a Visa Rewards from 2020 and it is Lady and Tramp's 65th anniversary pin. And it is so sweet. Lady and the Tramp is such a sweet story. But my grandmother actually took me to a theater. Um, I grew up in Riverside, California, and there was a theater that had Dollar Days, Disney Dollar Days, actually, where they did Disney movies for a dollar. And, yeah, she took me. And so, and then right after she passed away. So that is why it's very sentimental. It's like a wonderful memory for me. Um, number two, favorite Pixar movie. I do have one of those. It's cars. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm jiggling everything around. So I know a lot of people can't get behind the whole car thing, but I love cars. I just do. Um, I love the music. I love the soundtrack. And I love the characters. And it just, it cracks me up every time, no matter how many times I've seen it. And I have two pins here. They're actually blind box pins. Uh, I don't have a lot of cars pins. I was kind of shocked. but. Um, I I know I showed these before in like the Cars Collab hosted by Melic Adventures, but I'm going to show them again because they're just so cute. But it's Mater and Lightning McQueen, and these are Lounge Fly uh, Blind Box pins. Aren't they cute? They're a little on the small side, but that's okay. I absolutely love them, and they're great for filling in little spaces. Um, Let's see. Favorite Disney Plus series. <clears throat> I don't really have a lot of, that's not true. I'm going to stretch things a little bit, okay? Follow along. Go with me on this one, all right? Yeah, you'll see. Okay, so there's a lot of great stuff on Disney+. Plus. Don't get me wrong, love it all. But on Disney+, Plus is Nat Geo, is a National Geographic channel. Can't even say that. And I love the zoo shows. I love the animal shows. And um, they've done two seasons of Animal Kingdom. And I absolutely loved it. So Disney Plus took me to National Geo. Nat Geo took me to Animal Kingdom. That's my choice for favorite Disney Plus series is Animal Kingdom. <laughs> and there is... An Animal Kingdom tree. Again, that's another uh, mystery box. Um, I think this one was actually from Disney, though. I can't really remember. But it's the Tree of Life. Love that park. Kilimanjaro Safaris is so much fun. Oh, Chip and Dale are on these guys, too. Oh, and um, Zazu. He's up there on the top, too. I don't know if you guys could see it, but he's up there. Okay. Uh, I keep putting the pins in front of the camera so it changes the light. Sorry about that. Um, number four, favorite Marvel movie. Yep, nope, don't have one. Mm -mm. So I don't hate the Marvel movies. Not at all. Don't dislike them. They're okay. But as far as like having an absolute favorite, 
No. I do love Captain Mar uh, Captain America, both of them. But my favorite is Falcon when he goes when he you know turns into Captain America, and the start of that is in Infinity Wars. It really takes off, you know, in Winter Soldier more so, you know, kind of thing in the series. But yeah, so I chose Infinity Wars simply because. And not to mention, the gauntlet is really cool looking. So uh, forgive the glare, but this is a movie club pin. And here it is down here. It's the gauntlet. And yeah, we like to keep these in the plastic because the cardboard is not the best. The cardstock is not the best of quality. So it has foam and um, the bag. So that's why we keep it in there. So sorry about the glare, but there's that. Okay. Let's see. Moving right along. Favorite Star Wars movie is number five. Okay. I'm an original trilogy girl. I like the original three. I remember watching them with my dad, having a great time. Where did it go? And it just so happened today. I got this pin. This is a brand new pin. It's a D23 pin. It's the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. So this was perfect for today. Because as you all know, that's part of the original trilogy. So isn't that awesome? Look at the colors on that pin. And it's just, it pops, especially on this card. I just love it. It's really cool. Look at Vader. He's so awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I do kind of root for the dark side. I don't know why I do that, but I sort of do. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Number six, favorite Disney character. Who's raising their hand saying, I know, I know. If you've watched our channel, if you know me at all, you know who it is. It's Minnie Mouse. And I chose to show you this um, Food and Wine Festival from 2022 at... Grand, at California Adventure, of course. And um, it says, I've got pizzazz, and it is Minnie Mouse cooking up a pizza. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And this is a limited edition. Um, I believe it's... I don't even remember. I have to take it off the card to find out. But this is a limited release and limited edition. It's just for specifically for the Food and Wine Festival. But, oh my gosh, I love it. It's such a heavy pin, too. It is pin on pin. I don't know if you can see that there. But it's such a cute pin. And I don't think I've chosen this one before. So that's why I did this time. That's the trouble with doing a lot of pin tags is... Yeah. That's why you buy more pins, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, Star Wars Disney character, favorite Pixar character. Uh, believe it or not, no, it is not Lightning McQueen. Although I, he is my favorite Cars character is Lightning McQueen. But my favorite Pixar character is Merida from Brave. It's actually her mom, Queen Eleanor, I would have to say is her, is my favorite. But I, I don't, I've only seen one pin and I don't have it. It was a Mother's Day pin. But I don't see too many pins of Eleanor. Let me know in the comments below if you know where I can get my hands on some. But yep, yeah, there's Merida, my pick for favorite Pixar character. Let's see. Okay. Number eight. Mom, get a tissue. Okay. I went way outside of the box here. Bear with me, y'all. I could have chose um, a Marvel character. I could have chose... Mr. Incredible, someone from then, someone for that. But um, when it came to my favorite superhero, you know what, y'all? I'm choosing my son, Matthew. Uh, he is an, uh, an airman in the United States Air Force. Um, he just took his test. He's going to be a sergeant now. Um, and uh, super proud of him. He is a engines mechanic for the E-15 Strike Eagles. Now, here's where my bragging rights come in. I know it's it's not right to brag, but I'm gonna. My son got a 98% on the military ASVAB. He was fabulous. And he uh, basically was able to write his own ticket. He was encouraged to go for computers or something like that. He did not want to do a little sit-down job. He wanted to work. He wanted to actually do something with his hands. And uh, he comes from a long line, um, both my side and Chris's uh, side of the family, of engine mechanics. 
um, both cars and aircraft. Uh, my dad was a mechanic for the um, Marines. He was in black sheep. He lost his wings because of colorblindness, but then um, recareered and became a um, uh, a mechanic. I cannot remember the plane, um, but he was in Vietnam, and so was Chris's uncle. Uh, he was also a mechanic, an aircraft mechanic in the military. I believe he was Air Force. Uh, so Matthew just wanted to follow along, you know, and uh, the footsteps, the proud footsteps of the family. So he could have chose anything. He could have chose something cushy, but he didn't. He chose something hard because that's how much he loves his country. That's how much he loves his family. I am super proud of him. So he is a flight line um, engines mechanic for the E fit for the F fifteen E Strike Eagle, and um, yeah, it's like jet that goes yeah. But anyhow, it's like one of the first to like get it done, which scares a mom, but you know, proud but scared. So anyhow, this is his jet, the E fifteen Strike Eagle, the F fifteen E Strike Eagle. Sorry, yes. <sighs> Got emotional. Matthew, love you, dude. Proud of you, dude. Thank you for your service. You rock. Get a girlfriend. Okay. Let's see. So, um, where are we? Number nine. Favorite Star Wars character. I'm going to share Adrian's favorite. Um, mainly because <laughs> it's Adrian's favorite. It just cracks me up. I just love it when she goes, beep, beep, boop, boop. So I picked R2-D2. And this is a fig pen. They are one of my favorites. In fact, they are my favorite kind to collect. <clears throat> I just love how nice they are. They're triple prong. They're really heavy. They're on this gunmetal back. They're numbered. <clears throat> they are actually a collector's item and um, kind of the same way uh, baseball cards are. But I, yeah. So I'm going to choose beep, beep, boop, boop, R2-D2 because of Princess Adrian. Um, let's see. Favorite villain, Dr. Facilier. He's so mean. He's so naughty. Just, yeah, he is. I'm going to put this back here. <clears throat> so a little bit of a dingbat. Not very smart at times. But yeah, I just I just love him. I, I I don't know really why. I just do. But I chose this stained glass pen from Pink Alamode. Can you see it okay there? <clears throat> love this guy. I love the stained glass pens. You know what? I have enough light for coming in from outside. Maybe you guys could see. Can you see it here? Let's do it this way. You can see the glass there. It's so pretty. I think that's, I don't know if it's going to work. Anyway, love this pen. Put that down. Okay. <laughs> Favorite couple. Duh. So I chose Mickey and Minnie. And this is a new pen and the card is all messed up. I hate that. It actually came shipped to me from Disney that way. Doesn't you get better about how you ship your pens, man? I love you. You know I love you. Totally. Disney. All the way. I will be 99 years old <clears throat> in diapers with no teeth and still wanting to go to Disneyland. You're getting enough of my money. Send the pins better. Just saying. On behalf of everyone else who's tired of getting their pins all messed up in a little envelope. Come on. When we trade pins, we, we take better care than that. But anyhow, sorry, my rant. We uh, chose, I chose... <laughs> Mickey and Minnie, and this is from the 100th anniversary. And the neat thing about this pin, it's actually three pins. They, they come off the little front gates there. Ouch, I just stabbed myself. Ta-da! See? So anyhow, it's like three pins in one. I thought that this was really pretty. I better put this together back right now or Adrian's going to have fit if she sees it I've taken it apart <laughs> all right let's see here I think Chris is getting Adrian's dinner so I'm just gonna keep going um 
favorite friendship. That's me and my buddy Ginger. And me and my buddy Carrie. Me and my buddy Carrie are more like Chip and Dale. But me and my buddy Ginger, that you all know from just Ginger's love of Disney, we love Daisy and Minnie. In fact, when we just recently went to Disney, we Disney bound as Minnie and Daisy. But, yeah. I have a collection of Minnie and Daisy pins. I've started even before I knew Ginger, but it's really taken off even more so since then. This is a, I think it's 2001. Yes, 2001. It is the uh, Super Soap Weekend. And this is at the studios back when it was MGM Studios, Disney MGM Studios. But this is Minnie and Daisy. Getting ready to watch their soaps. Isn't that cute? It's a big pen. I just love it. No, I was not there for this. I actually got this one on eBay. I normally don't like pins that have dates that don't have anything to do with me. Like if it's a Christmas 2003 and I wasn't there, I don't want it. Except for like characters that I really, really want. Like Disney, uh, Daisy, and Minnie. So yeah, that's why I got this one even though I wasn't there. It's because it's an awesome pin and it's Daisy and Minnie. I think I'll just leave that one there. <clears throat> Um, that's favorite friendship. Favorite Disney park is Epcot. I love Epcot. So does my husband. Um, we can spend days in the World Showcase and just absolutely love it. Especially when food and wine is going on. In fact, we're getting ready to do that in November. We're going to go back and do the food and wine and meet Matthew there. So excited. So is Adrian. So I chose this D23 40, celebrating 40 years of Epcot limited edition to 1000 pin. Can you see that? Is that all right? Too much glare? But that is so neat. Anyhow, right. favorite attraction is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. I'm not going to take this one out of the bag. This is actually a cast member pin. This one is um, the 35 Years of Magic. This is when I start, well, right after I started. This is in 1990, Disney's 35th, and this is a cast member issue pin. And it's starting to yellow because of the way that they did pins back then. It actually has the lapel back. And let's see if you guys can see this. But that's Donald. And see how it's yelling, yellowing? But it's Donald with his pick. And it's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Okay, that's it. That's my pins. I didn't put them all on board, so I can't show them all up to you. But um, yeah, this was fun. It was hard. This one was harder. Yes, it indeed was. Um, I'm going to tag Vicky from Vicky's Tigger Tales. And then I'm going to open it up to anybody else who wants to do it. Uh, please give me a tag so that I know that you did it. I'd love to see your answers. In the meantime, uh, Magical Mischief 21, thank you for creating such a fun tag. And thank you for tagging me, Sandra. Uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, yeah, as Princess Aiden would say, remember. Be yourself. Bye.